Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're going to be uh, replacing this side mirror right here. It's a 2004 Toyota 4Runner, 4th generation. Um, I tried fixing it before. I, I use a, a JB Weld, but uh, while doing that, it they want to... Um, go what's you call this slide in like this so if somebody accidentally broke it so yeah that's that's how it looks i tried putting a jb weld uh what i'm gonna do is just replace it with uh a new mirror side mirror it's only like 20 bucks at uh Kovo uh, mirror replacement. Um, the only problem is uh, the color match. It's matte black. The the frame and the mirror itself is black, which is good, but it's gonna be different from the other side. So what we're gonna do is uh, paint both of it at the same time. I'm gonna matte these out. Also the driver's side, so they both match. So yeah. So first step is uh, we go inside and uh, take out the panels. Alright guys, the, the tools you're going to be needing today is going to be uh, these, these ones. Uh, a screwdriver, a pry bar, and a... Uh, 10 millimeter socket okay uh, first thing what you want to do is uh they they they're both the same side i'm gonna take off the driver side because i'm gonna color match both of it so i'm gonna take out the driver side first and then install both of it at the same time when it's both painted so try this out easy to come off it's hard to do it with, there you go. Just wiggle it out. You can see a screwdriver right there, screw. And then just pry this out too. There you go. Then there's a knob right here. Press that in. The thing will just come right off. See that? Put that inside. Uh, try this out right here, the handrest. You see another screw right there. Take those out. Take both of these out. Okay, now what you want to do is just pry out the panel and then carefully lift it up. There's a hook here. Just let it hang. And then what you want to do is uh, take this out right here. So those, there's three bolts right here. One, two, three. Just grab your 10 millimeter, take it off. And once you got that loose, what you want to do is uh, pry this out, or actually, yeah, you just got to pry this out. <coughs> and 
and then there's a black tape here just take it off we'll put that back later and then this one the connector connection here press on it it'll come right off see and once you got that out just continue to take off the nuts so grab the whole grab hold the of the other side so it doesn't fall there you go driver side is out uh, we're gonna color match it and uh, we'll put it back on same way we took it off all right okay guys today we're gonna be using a thousand grit to sand it down both mirrors are right here and after we're gonna sand it down after sanding it down we're gonna be using this uh, plastic paint uh, I got a high temp because the weather here in uh, Texas is kind of really hot so plastic paint v VHT high temp so we're gonna sand this down and probably do three coats of this so everything's gonna match and uh, the flat black match the the color of the vehicle too so I don't mind having it uh, matte black so yeah Alright guys, once it's dry, uh, grab your masking tape and then just mask off the, the mirror so it doesn't get painted, alright? Okay guys, just like that, do it on both sides and it's going to be ready for paint. Alright. Okay guys, once it's all dry, what you guys want to do now is uh, grab your rubbing alcohol and wipe everything down. And after that, don't touch it with your hands. It'll all be ready for paint. Wipe it, wipe everything down with alcohol. Okay, now you're ready to uh, spray your your paint. Shake it real good, and when you spray it, the first uh, layer would be light. Spray it light. Second coat will be light. And then the third coat go a little heavy. All right. Okay, guys. First coat is done. Let it dry for about ten five minutes, um, depending on your the weather. And then spray the second coat. Okay guys, second coat is done. All we gotta do now is wait for it to dry again. And third coat will be the last one. All right, looking good so far. Okay guys, for the third coat, um, I decided to hang it. So that way I can get everything else. But uh, uh, you can hang it for the first and second. So you don't need to uh, be touching it after that. I just realized that I have to paint the inside too so yeah make sure you hang it before the first and second coat because I didn't get these ones here so yeah it's best to hang it 
already. All right. All right, guys, check it out. Uh, all done. Third coat. Looking nice. They both match now. I'll match the truck. Got that matte uh, paint going on. Gloss and uh, matte black. So, yeah. Next step would be installing it. So we'll take off the broken side mirror right there. Replace it. Go back the the driver side. Should be good. All good. All right. Okay, guys. If you guess uh, this video help you guys out please like subscribe and give me a thumbs up all right Bye. all right guys here it is all put back together color matching uh, the way you put it back is just the same same procedure as taking it out so just go vice versa so yeah check it out guys all fixed same color matte black and my gloss black right here matches I like the color combo matches the whole truck the truck kind of dirty right now so but yeah it matches the front grille too because it's matte black the same paint uh, yeah it looks looks cherry Thanks for watching guys, till next time, alright.